Welcome to the Sidra Intersection 9 tutorial series. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Lane Geometry Input Dialog to specify lane configuration, lane disciplines, and lane data using a signalized site as an example. The same method applies to roundabout and sign control sites. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. Now let's begin. Click the Site Layout button in the ribbon to view a picture of the signalized intersection in the display pane. It's very important that you use the Lane Geometry dialog to specify lane configuration and lane disciplines immediately after the Movement Definitions dialog. Click Lane Geometry in the Site Input section to open the dialog. The dialog will open with an interactive layout display on the right. Blue text in the top left corner of the display indicates that the picture can be used for direct data entry. As you select approaches, exit lanes, and strip islands in the lane editor, the selected items will be highlighted in the layout display. You can also select lanes and strip islands by clicking the layout display. Right-click options are available to edit your lane configuration within the display. In the Lane Configuration tab of the Lane Geometry dialog, you will find the Approach Selector, which displays the site as configured in the Intersection dialog. The Lane Editor, displaying the approach and exit lanes and islands for the selected leg. And the Lane Configuration Data Group. Approach lanes, exit lanes, and strip islands can be added or deleted using the command buttons below the Lane Editor. The Add and Delete functions can also be used by right-clicking a lane or strip island in the Lane Editor or Layout display. Let's first configure bus-only approach and exit lanes on the south and north legs as a bus priority example. Click the south leg in the Approach selector and Approach Lane 4 in the Lane Editor. In the Lane Configuration drop-down list, select Two-Segment Lane. When a two-segment lane or a short lane is selected, additional sections will appear in the dialog. Let's keep the segment lengths as they are in this example. Under Segment 2, which is the upstream section of the lane, enter B in the Segment ID field and specify a segment color of your choice. To create a bus lane on the north leg exit, use the Exit Lane command button to add a lane to the right. In the Lane Configuration data fields, enter the same lane ID and lane color used for the approach lane segment. Let's now specify an exit short lane. Select Exit Lane 2 on the west leg and choose Short Lane in the Lane Configuration drop-down list. The Short Lane data group will appear in the dialog for entering short lane length and other specifications. Now select the west leg, Approach Lane 3. Change the lane type to Slip Bypass High Angle. As you see, by using the Sidra Intersection Lane Geometry dialog, you can set up the required lane configuration for your site easily and effectively. Here is one more example, using the Lane Configuration options to change the short lanes on the south and north approaches to full-length lanes. 
Finally, click the Strip Island in the Lane Editor or in the Layout Display to access the Strip Island Configuration Data Group. Let's adjust the back width on the north and south legs as an example. The second tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Disciplines tab. All approach movements available for a selected lane are shown in the Lane Disciplines table. Approach movements by movement class are allocated to appropriate lanes here using checkboxes. You must allocate each movement class to at least one lane on any approach. If you click Apply or OK before allocating all movement classes to a lane, you will get a lane configuration error. Let's specify the turn and bus movements for the two-segment lane established in the Lane Configuration tab. Select Approach Lane 4 of the south leg. When you select a two-segment lane, the Lane Disciplines table will include Segment 1 and Segment 2 sections for movement specifications. To allow only buses to travel through in Segment 1, Uncheck the Through Movement boxes next to Light and Heavy Vehicles. Check the box next to Buses to allocate this as the only Through Movement class. To assign Segment 2 to Buses only, uncheck the Light and Heavy Vehicle movements. And check the box in the Upstream Movement class column for Buses. By default, the Lane Editor displays approach movements by all movement classes on each lane. The drop-down list, Show Lane Disciplines By, helps to check lane disciplines when different classes are allocated to different lanes. The Lane Disciplines table also allows you to enter free queue distance values for shared approach lanes at signalized sites. Free queue distance is used in modeling the number of vehicles which can queue away from the lane without interrupting the flow of the other movement which shares the lane. The third tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Data tab. This includes the Approach Lane Data and Merge Analysis parameters for all site types. Use the Approach Lane Data group to calibrate various lane parameters. For roundabout and signal sites, additional fields are available at the bottom of the dialog. The Lane Data tab provides the option to include Merge Analysis with various input specifications available in the Merge Analysis group for modeling exit short lanes. Detailed information about the parameters in the Lane Data tab can be found in the SIDRA Intersection Glossary, User Guide, and Help System. When the Lane Geometry specifications are complete, click OK to close the dialog. Remember to save your project. This concludes the tutorial on how to use the Lane Geometry dialog in SIDRA Intersection 9. Thank you for watching.